This is Damon Stevens with Finwell Bullers. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. The stock market update for our trades of the day. I'm actually traveling out of out of town for this week, but I was able to put a little bit of a trade in today before I left. Hopefully, uh, well, I actually got a little bit of Tesla, so that was great. Uh, but it looked like the market overall did very well today uh, while I was gone, and hopefully we'll see some more of that through as we finish up this week. But let's take a look at what's going on, see if we can help you get prepped for tomorrow, and uh, we'll continue posting our numbers out. Again, we posted our numbers this morning on our Discord, which you can find at filmwealthlive.com. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, but we're still continuing to, to post out our numbers uh, so, so you have something to trade against if you are trading along with us. So on the overall <clears throat> market, you can see that Dow Jones closed up 1.29%, NASDAQ up 2.59%, and S&P 500 up 1.56%. Our energy pullback, so money flowing out of energy. But look at the stocks overall, just great and just killer. I mean, I missed a really good day, it looks like. Um, but long-term portfolios, uh, obviously, hopefully you had a, you're enjoying this last week and the, and the bull run that we're, that we're experiencing right now. And we'll see if we can continue with that run. Um, but short-term and long-term portfolios should be loving things right now. Looking at the uh, the news here, so PMI numbers, information came out today. So everything's looking good there. Uh, things are looking good on earnings. And so all that positive news is just giving a catalyst for this uh, bull run that we're running. I mean, we are now hitting more and more companies over, closing over the 200 moving average and the 50 day moving average or 75% of companies now on the S&P 500, which means uh, we're definitely more bullish right now than bearish. It uh, doesn't mean the bears are dead, but boy, they've been asleep for a little bit here. We'll just go ahead and take advantage of that. Uh, but Thursday, we have the jobless claims. Um, so hopefully there's no surprises there. And also non-payment farm payrolls, unemployment rates, things like that on Friday. Those will be the only things that, you know, unless there's something that happens, like a black swan event or something where some really bad news comes out. Um, but otherwise, the bulls are still in control, at least in the short term. So we'll see uh, what kind of pans out for us week. Here's an interesting thing too. Uh, this is uh, looking at S&P 500. This is calls and puts, people shorting the market uh, with car call or put contracts versus call contracts. Uh, and if you've looked at my videos, you've seen that, you know, as we go through this, every week looks a little different. And we used to look really heavy on the bull side. Um, there's a lot of green spikes up here where people were very bullish on the market. Uh, and uh, and then uh, we had, again, obviously a lot on the put side. And you see here the put call ratio. So there's three people shorting the market through the contracts versus long people on contracts. But these spikes used to be up, you know, 50, 60,000 right now. They're very small. Uh, and if you look at the stock price, you're sitting around, you know, 414. Uh, if the market wants to take the money back that it's putting out on these contracts, it's going to want to close the market. Or have the market close down around 405 this week. Uh, uh, and you can see that the highest call strike is 410. Uh, and we're above that. So I think that's why you're seeing all these big spikes in people shorting the market and wanting the market to come down. Uh, because you know they know that we've uh, you know had a big run and we haven't pulled back yet. Uh, and we were in a bear run just you know a short time ago. So, uh, you know, they're, they're looking to see uh, some type of pullback in the market, which very well could come any any time. But uh, right now, we are elevated, but we still have some room to, to that we could go up. And we'll show that as we get in these charts here. Uh, but let's look at kind of, you know, the VIX. Uh, sorry, let me throw this. Uh, if you look at uh, going back here to the VIX, you can see here, here's what kind of hit the scanners. Uh, QR, uh, QNRX, KSPN. ENBB. Uh, so those are kind of the most common ones, but small caps with this bull run, it's just come, it's just come alive. It's just for quite great opportunities I mean, to, to, to grab some of this. And let me show you here, for example. So QNRX, this is a 15 minute chart. Uh, you can see here, um, you know, this morning on um, this stock didn't really kind of kick in uh, until the news that came out around 1030. So you can see here uh, at four, $4 and 17 cents this morning. Uh, and then it kind of started bumping up, which as soon as we get the spike, that's where you kind of hit the scanner and the scanner starts to pick up uh, these huge spike moves. Uh, but you see here, 417, I have 2810, unbelievable. While I was on the plane, this thing just pumped up uh, and just hit a high. Now you see it's pulled back to around, you know, 
1968 here. It is above all the moving averages, which I like. That's why I like it to be able to trade it the, the next day. So we'll be looking at this one uh, this more in the morning. Hopefully my internet's working good. Um, but definitely looking at this one here for uh, additional bounce, at least to try to retempt you know the 28 level, if not break through it. So KSP and this was another one 15 minute chart. You see here that uh, you know we this is the stock had come down. And it came down to this low of two forty three, two dollars and forty three cents, uh, and then uh, I hit the scanner this morning. You see this big spike up that we had, uh, pulled back here. That was another good entry. Came up, spike again, pull back, which is another good entry. Spike back up again, and then just kind of choppy right here, but hit a high of you know seven bucks, you know a little bit over seven dollars from two dollars and forty three cents. So I mean, killer if you get this, and you see that it spiked up there, pulled back here. Pulled down here, retested this area here, and then came back up and spiked again. Uh, and so you kind of had two opportunities at this stock today. Uh, and so we'll see. I mean, it's hovering down here around the 20 day. I don't like that it kind of broke below it a little bit. So we'll see if we get another day out of this. Maybe it'll kind of consolidate here for a little bit or maybe find another, another time to break out, but definitely uh, another good opportunity. We're gonna Netflix. Netflix, you know, has been in this channel. You see, it's really been trying to bust through and just cannot. And it's right on our deviation band right here and also this resistance line that we have in here. So it's just really having trouble. So let's see if it continues to have trouble and see if it maybe curls back down. Uh, maybe you know, it continues to stay, be range bound in here. Um, but right now it's not finding a, uh, enough energy to go up. Amazon, sitting here, we talked about this. You know, we're, It's in this little island up here in this channel. Uh, and really it's got to get above 142 to, to break up or come back down. If it breaks through 135, then it come back down to this downside start from this gap. So just something to be aware of. It is above the 200, which is strong, right? That starts to put more in the bullish camp. So we'll see if it can hold and see if it continues to ramp up. But Amazon, uh, you know, so far it's looking, looking good. I mean, it's still holding into that uh, area and that gap up. Uh, looking at Google here, you can see we've been in this channel down to the bottom, up and back and forth. And we're kind of come up here, we're hit the 100 day today, kind of found resistance there. The next level up here is this 119 area. You can see that we've hit it multiple times. So this obviously is an area of resistance as well, but that's kind of the level here for Google is that 119, uh, almost 120 level. So if it breaks out and holds above there for a couple of days, uh, then we can continue to run into a new channel here and have a big breakout. Right now we are sitting in our deviation band. We are also sitting, you know, just below that support line. Apple kind of it finally got through. It kind of blew through, right? It consolidated here for three days and then blew through this candle and came up to the top of this candle. So we're sitting here at the top of that candle, 166.13. We break that one, 179 will be the next run. So Apple's looking really good. If it can break out, uh, it has a good run here ahead of itself. Uh, looking at Meta, uh, in this little channel, tempted to break, broke out, failed, came back down to the support line, came out again, spiked the 20, and it's kind of sitting on the 20. And you see here that 20 has been a resistance. It was resistance up here, came up, never made their resistance here, came up, broke through it, and then had to get pulled right back down underneath it. So we'll have to kind of watch this one, but uh, not real strong <clears throat> on this one. A Tesla, Tesla, you know, has got into this zone area. So you can see this consolidation zone. That's where Tesla's sitting right now. And it's trying to break up north, the north side. It's doing pretty good about holding up there. As long, the more it holds up here, the more bullish that is. Uh, as it sets up a bull flag to try to break through that resistance area. So if it can get to break through this, this area here and, and uh, run it under over 142, you know, 993 is the next area, which would be this top of this candle right here. This would be the full length of this candle being, uh, you know, retested again. Something to watch for. So Tesla is still looking very strong. If you haven't subscribed, again, here's our website, Finwealth Live on YouTube. And if you go to finwealthlive.com, you can definitely find our, dis our Discord uh, link there, as well as some free training out there. So definitely join us. Uh, so we can learn how to, you know, figure out how to make money together and just kind of really, you know, understand the market and what's going on in it. You know, the dollar here, dollar, the lower it gets, the better it is for the market. You see, we kind of popped up here above the 20-day moving average uh, and, above, you know, at this resistance level. 
So we we'll see if it holds. If it, if it uh, if it doesn't come back down and it starts to go up, that means money may start to go out of the market. So that would be a turning point possibly for the market and the bears. Gold kind of came up here. I was able to break through this 20 days, kind of sandwiched between the 20 and 50 and kind of leveled out here. U.S. oil, uh, tried to rally, it tried to rally up here. I hit a lot of resistance and it's pulled right back down into our trend line below the moving averages, except for the 200. So um, U.S. oil, just not quite there and ready yet. Uh, the VIX, okay, this is on a weekly basis, but you see the VIX is continuing to kind of grind down here on a weekly basis. Um, so it's continuing to have weakness there, which is, you know, helpful for the market to continue to run. Uh, the SPY on a daily chart, you see here, uh, you got resistance right here. So you see how it resisted up here and then pulled back. And you got this double bottom in here. We're back up there, but we're not quite there. 417, we got to see if we can hold 417, this area right here, a consolidation uh, in this area and, and have a rejection. If we do not have a rejection that breaks through, uh, we could be going up a lot higher. So it's something to be aware of. So just be careful out there on SPY. Right now, we're sitting at that resistance level. Um, so here, again, on a weekly basis, you can see right below the 50-day on the weekly and on the daily, right below the 200. Triple Qs, same thing, right below that 200-day moving average. So if we break above, you know, this 326, we're going to run. If not, you know, it could pull back again. And you can see they kind of spiked it before. Held it for a while and then broke back down. Semiconductors, you can see here that it's coming in this channel. You know, I had this bottom even put in here. It's trying to come up and get and break through here. So we'll see if it can. Uh, there is some resistance there. We're sitting right on the 200. So again, all these all these uh, index funds that are sitting around that 200, that, you know, they got to either break it or they're going to pull back. So just, you know, something to be aware of. IWM to come up to the 200. It's not there yet. Um, so it's trying to work its way there. Um, definitely, that's another one of those where, you know, you could possibly get some rejection. You see it rejected last time. It hit the 190.44. It pulled back. All right, financials. Just kind of grinding high over this 20-day. Slowly making momentum. It's over the 50-day, several days, and just kind of slowly grinding, trying to make its way up. So um, that's nice and bullish. Uh, XLV for healthcare. Um, just continues to, to struggle here. In this channel, trying to break through here and again just resisting up here uh, and getting pushed down. So it's got to break through that um, or it's going to be trapped in this little channel. Uh, energy sector, it tried to you know run, run up there uh, and it's kind of pulled back a little bit. So we'll see if it can you know continue to stay up. Not bullish momentum, but uh, it's kind of weakening right now. Bitcoin been trying to bust through uh, and just continues to, to, to see this here around this uh, 24,000 area. So we'll see if they can keep, you know, above this 200 day, or this 20 day moving average and bust up. But again, still kind of looking a little weak. Ethereum, same thing. Right here, just trying to get enough, you know, bold momentum here and volume to push through. But it hasn't still done it yet. But so just something to watch for. Um, I wouldn't, you know, me personally, I wouldn't be trading this unless it kind of broke up and came down and retested or gave me a good clue that it was a strong movement. Same thing on the downside. Uh, so that's our stock crypto scene we're looking at. Uh, definitely, you know, continue to subscribe and also, you know, like our video. This is helpful for you and we will continue to bring this content to you. We'll meet tomorrow night. See how your trades went for the day. Plan on our next trades. Everybody have a great night.